Welcome back guys to your second C++ tutorial and in this tutorial we are finally going to begin writing some code and what we're going to be doing is actually building a basic program and all this program is going to do is just output basic text to the screen but it's very essential in understanding the basics of how a C++ program is put together and all the pieces you need to have in place in order to run even the most basic programs so there is my introduction I hope you guys enjoyed let's begin shall we so the first thing that we need to do is this hit the number sign and press I N C L U D E and move my cursor out of the way I O S T R E A M and make sure it's be in between your less than and greater than sign now what we're doing with this line of code is again we're going to be talking about include files and header files later on but for those of you guys who just need to know what we're doing is adding a preprocessor directive in in essence what that means is we're going to include important files that are all already built into C++ and these files are going to help us later on but for now this line isn't really important pretty much including files that we're going to need later on so with that being said let's go ahead and build our first function and before I even build my first function let me explain to you guys what a function is every single C++ program is made up of functions if you don't have a function then you don't have a C++ program and check this out the main function that your computer is gonna look for is called main hmm how convenient not the state the word M-A-I-N and for those of you guys who think that M-A-I-N is how you spell the state then yeah spell it like the state but anyways let's go ahead and build our very first function go ahead and write I-N-T M-A-I-N and hit two empty parentheses now this is pretty much called why did I say pretty much it's not pretty much this is called the function header but I often call it the title because you know it's kinda like the title here's your function name right there main and here is the data type it returns but we'll be covering data types later on this pretty much is short for integer so anyways we have a title of the function which technically it's called the header so now that it has a head we need to give it a body and in order to do that go ahead and add two little curly brackets and some space in between so here is the basics of how any computer program works as soon as you start your program it's gonna look for a function called main so that's what we're building right here so that's why you need to name this main because again like I said it's the very first function your computer is gonna look for whenever it starts running the program and inside your function you're gonna tell your computer exactly what to do inside of your function you're gonna have something called statements and what a statement is is it's pretty much an instruction so your program is probably going to be made up of well in this program is probably going to be made up of you know six different statements or six different instructions and these are basic instructions of what we want our computer program to do simple enough so with that being said let's go ahead and add one of these statements right now again just like this include right here there's something else that you absolutely need your computer program to have let's go ahead and add using namespace I'll get it right std and this means using namespace sexual transmitted disease alright next line I'm just kidding alright <laughs> this actually means using namespace standard and what this means again we'll be covering namespaces and uh, you know all this stuff later on but for those of you guys who just need to know what this means we're gonna be using all of the basic standard functions in our program simple enough alright so now we can finally begin getting to the meat of this tutorial and that's how to print basic text out on the screen and this is how you do it C O U T hit space and hit the less sign two times and then go ahead and inside quotation marks type whatever you want to print out 
So I will write my name is Bucky and you need to end every statement with a semicolon since whenever you give your computer a bunch of different statements or instructions it needs to know when the first one ends and when the second one begins so they aren't all jumbled together jumbled together so what we do is we separate them by semicolons and we typically put them on uh, separate lines this just makes it easier for the programmer you and me to read so anyways what we said now is my name is Bucky and we want to output this to the screen see out is the function that allows you to display stuff on the screen so you know that's all I need to say so let's go ahead and let's go ahead and teach you guys about one other thing and this is how to make a new line and that's see out of course print out to the screen and don't put this in quotation marks print e n d l this means end line and this is the exact equivalent of hitting enter or return on your keyboard it moves your text down a line so now that we're on the next line of our program let's just go ahead and output something out so we actually see this baby in action and let's just go ahead and write my let's go ahead and write I have an overactive bladder and make sure you spell it wrong or else your program is not gonna work just kidding but anyways and you're saying Bucky why are you tell me about your bladder well guys if you're gonna be watching your tutorials with me then uh, you know we're gonna have to get to know each other so the first thing I want you guys to know about me is I have an overactive bladder so there you go and let's just go ahead and add one other end line so see out end line so now we have a program that prints out a line of text that says my name is Bucky and on the next line when we move down it says I have an overactive bladder and then just hit the enter key again that's what it's gonna look like so now we're not exactly ready to run this program yet what we need to do is system and in parentheses go ahead and type pause what this is gonna do is actually pause your program because if you don't have this line your program is gonna run super fast and exit before you even get to see anything at all and I'll run this without this line to show you guys what exactly is going on and the very last statement or instruction we need to give our function main is return zero and you're saying alright what's this return zero is just your way of telling the main function that everything went according to plan check this out let me give you guys a little preview in the future this int means whenever we use this function it's expecting an integer in return in built in your computer your computer knows already whenever it returns zero it means everything went according to plan so that's why at the end of all of our main functions we return zero and that's just our way of telling the computer everything went according to plan we're cool we're cool man alright so now like I said that is our program in order to run this here's what you need to do execute compile and run Compile means change this code in code that we can understand to ones and zeros that the computer can understand and run this program. So check that out. My name is Bucky. I have an overactive bladder. And you can either X out of that or just hit any button and it will X out. Now check this out. Let's go ahead and get rid of this system pause and see what happens. Execute, compile, and run. I don't know if you guys saw that, but what it did is pretty much just flashed on the screen real quick and exited so that is why we need that system pause right there so I mean we're not as fast as a computer we can't read that quick we need to pause everything so we can actually see our work and you know look at it take a breath of fresh air and be proud of something so that's why we need system pause like I said so uh, anyways that's all I have for you guys for this tutorial this is the very basics bare bones of how we create a program in C++. Now we can begin going into the uh, you know, the detailed stuff a little more, you know, more about uh I, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm saying right now. What I want to say though is if you want any of this code then go ahead and click in the link below and I'll save it for you guys all on my forum. So just go ahead and copy and uh, throw it in your program if you guys are lazy. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to check out the next video. And I'll see you guys later.